Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. Uh, as you noticed, my last few videos have been the Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta. That's pretty much what I was playing all weekend. I didn't even, I didn't even touch Siege. Uh, the game to me was really fun, so I'm going to shoot from the hip and kind of tell you guys what I, uh, what my overall impressions of it. And if I had to do a review, this would kind of be it. Um, there's a few things that they need to work on, but let's go ahead and start to talk by the good. What I liked about the beta is that it looked pretty good. So the graphics were pretty nice. It was pretty solid and polished. Uh, the best feature of all to me was the, um, there's two things, the gunsmith in the game. It took me back to Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. So that had a really good gun bench where you could kind of switch out uh, accessories and it gave your gun different stats. And I really like that about the game because I feel like even if you pick up a different gun or the same gun, it's not the, the exact same as yours. Uh, it just gives you more variety and they are going to be it's a decent amount of guns right now. So as they release new guns, there's just going to be so many more variants and different ways to use it. So it feels like there's more guns than there really are. Um, the other thing, too, is crossplay. Crossplay is like A1. It works so well. There was issues with the lobby, but I'm just going to chalk it up to it being a beta. So I'm not going to harp too hard on that. But being able to play with my Xbox friends again, um, at one point we had two PC players, an Xbox player, and a PS4 player all working together. Um, playing TDM and playing um, Domination. So that was really, really dope. Uh, the experience of that took me back to the old days of Call of Duty. Um, as far as when everybody was in the lobby talking and you could just play with your friends and that's what it was about, right? I mean, granted, we still had the console divide. So you had your Xbox players, you had your PS4 players. But now everybody can play together. And that was just something that I, I never even thought of other than like, in passing back in the day, but I was like, ah, Xbox will never do that. PlayStation never let, like, they'll never let that happen. Cause then that would mean potentially losing, you know, the, the purpose of them being their own platform. If you could just play with the other people. But here we are, 20, uh, 2019, and we got this game and everybody's able to play together. So I really, that's really cool. Um, other than that, the game plays, I don't know, it plays pretty well as far as the pacing. Some people were camping. Um, I think people were just going a little bit too much in on it uh, because I do I do like the pacing. I don't mind having to take my time, go around and, you know, clear rooms and things like that. I know on on C just kind of what I do. So for me, it was nothing too crazy. But if you're one of those like hardcore Call of Duty fans and you're coming straight from like just cracked gameplay, then, yeah, it's, it feels really slow and it feels really campy. But for me. It feels a little bit more methodical and if you actually think about how you're playing you can actually do really well in the game so that's that's one big rewarding factor to me i feel like that'll create more of a skill gap because you'll have some people that are just gonna be really good and they'll kind of know the map and they'll know positioning and they'll be able to get things to work out in their favor versus just you know running around wildly now with all this good there's always this piece of me that's like when these microtransactions come out i just wonder how bad they're gonna make the game and how, how much they're going to damper the experience. The good thing is that we're not going to have to pay for the season pass. So at least you'll get the new maps if you stick around. I know I didn't get the season pass for Black Ops. I didn't get the season pass for World War II. Um, I think the last one I got was the season pass for Black Ops 3. And that was the last time I had purchased uh, Call of Duty for two consoles. So at the time, I used to, back in the day, if you take a little history, I used to buy Call of Duty on Xbox and PS4 or Xbox 360 and PS3. So I will get two copies of the game, two season passes. Like I would just go all out. Each year it'd be like what, uh, two hundred and twenty bucks is what I would drop on the game. It'd be fifty for the season pass, sixty for the game. I'd do it twice. So over time, as I started getting out of Call of Duty, I stopped buying. I focused on just one one platform. So I got it just for PS4. I got the season pass just for PS4, and I got the game on both consoles. And as I started just really not liking the microtransactions, that really after Black Ops Three. Um, I went just from getting the season pass only on PS4 to just dropping season passes and deliberately buying a different game. Um, literally, like, because I, I remember it was Watch Dogs 2 that I bought. I have bought Black Ops, or what is it, World War 2? I bought World War 2. Instead of getting the season pass, I only got one copy of it to, for starters. And then instead of getting the season pass, I went ahead and I just bought Watch Dogs just, to, just out of principle. So to me, that was a better way to go about it. And I got more enjoyment out of a whole new experience versus just spending 50 bucks on a game that I knew they were going to nickel and dime me as far as when guns come out. So oh, that's the way I looked at it. And I feel like this game might end up being something like like that where 
the, they have all these great guns. Like they start dropping like the Galil, they start dropping like the the FAL, like just different guns they put into supply drops, and then all of a sudden you can't earn them. If they make it where you can earn it, this would probably be my favorite Call of Duty. Because that's the whole point of playing video games. It's kind of like you get that sense of accomplishment. Otherwise, you're literally just running around doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Uh, and there really is no point. Like You can't really set a goal. Like Challenges to me are not worth doing. Uh, I don't really care about challenges. I care about unlocking things. Like If I have a really cool skin or a camera I like, I like to unlock it. So that's going to be like the, the kind of middle ground. Where if they do it and they do it wrong, it's going to be a bad experience. If they do it right, it'll be one of the best Call of Duties, for me at least. I would say some of the negatives would definitely be the inconsistencies of the gunfights. Um, although the gunplay felt really good, sometimes the gunfights didn't really feel as consistent as you would like. Um, so maybe if they tweak the code a little bit, I'm not one of those guys that's too techy. So for me, it, I can only tell you how it feels. And it feels like sometimes you melt people and sometimes like you're, you're hitting them and it's just, not, it's just not doing the same damage that it should. Um, obviously certain guns are better, but I feel like even when I was using the M4, sometimes I would get a couple of hit markers and it's like, damn, I'm, I know I'm like railing this dude. Like he's not dying though. So that would be one thing right there. If they could just fix the way the game feels as far as when you're shooting at people, then, you know, make it more consistent. Either make it where, you know, certain times you're going to be shooting a couple extra bullets to kill them. Or it's like every single time you shoot the right amount of bullets, like three, four bullets, you hit and they die. So they gotta go either way. It can't be like sometimes you hit them three times dead. And granted, like different guns, different drop drop, uh, drop off damages. I get that, but I'm saying like up close. Sometimes, like I said, you hit them like three times, they're gone. You hit them like four times. Sometimes you hit them, like five times. Sometimes it feels like you hit them like seven times. Like what the hell's going on, man? So just a more consistent feel would be appreciated. Another negative would definitely be the fact that when I was just playing Monster Keyboard by myself and I was not in a crossplay lobby, this is the thing that worries me the most about. Call of Duty for PC, and that's the only platform I would even think about buying this game for anyways, um, is that it took kind of a long time. It took a little bit of time. It maybe took like up to a minute to find a game sometimes. Um, and then sometimes it would just put me in a crossplay lobby. Like it wouldn't put me in an all mouse and keyboard lobby. So it was like one of those things where I wonder what's going to end up happening. And I wonder if they should just have like more, more lax crossplay boundaries maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a weird. It's kind of a weird thing to look for, because I wonder if the PC could, uh, the PC gamers are just going to end up plugging up controllers and the mouse and keyboard is just going to be gone, and everybody's just going to be using controller on PC just because you can find a game easier. I mean, that's always a solution, especially since this game is like jacked up my C game. Like I've been playing Rainbow Six and my aim is like trash right now. <laughs> so lots of T hunt to get it back. But back to what I was saying, and like I said, if they can make it to where. You could find a game with mouse and keyboard quicker. That would be uh, definitely definitely a plus. So I just don't know. It was kind of funny though when um, I remember I was in all mouse and keyboard lobby and there was like all PC and there was like one PS4 user and he just backed out. <laughs> so that just goes to show you that you know even mouse and keyboard on console is not the same as mouse and keyboard on PC. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the beta overall. Um, that was some of the good. My little one caveat which is what's going to happen with microtransactions and a couple of things that I didn't like i'm definitely buying the game the game was very fun to play like to me it was like what i wanted in a call of duty i'm going to make a separate video when i talk about ground war just because i want to talk about that specifically and how it pertains to you know what i've been looking for in a battlefield style game and why i even even touch battlefield 5 sometimes so i'll catch you guys in that video and then it'll be, uh, I could put a couple of clips up, a couple of uh, extra videos about Call of Duty because I did record a lot of content. And then it'll be back to my Siege programming. All right, you guys be easy. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, they took me from under us. Oh, hit fire from so far. Yo, who got dropped out of it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh it's a random. Chase me, I fucking dare you, bro. Oh no. Ooh, whoever did that shit just came in clutch. Here, UAV. UAV overhead.